Well, coming up this weekend, it appears that the forecast is looking quite nice to check out an annular solar eclipse that will be visible across North America this coming weekend, Saturday, October 14th. So let's dive into the details in terms of what you need to know. Well, first of all, it's a solar eclipse. So what exactly is a solar eclipse? This occurs when the moon passes directly between the sun and the earth. And what will happen is that the moon's shadow gets cast onto the Earth. So if you recall, a couple of years ago, there was a total solar eclipse. Well, this one will not be a total solar eclipse. This is what we call an annular eclipse. And this occurs when the moon is relatively far away from the Earth in its elliptical orbit. So what happens here is that as the moon passes directly in front of the sun, it never fully blocks out the sun and you get this sort of ring of fire effect around the moon uh, during the time of maximum eclipse. Now again, total eclipse is when the moon is a little bit closer to Earth and it completely blocks out the sun. That's what we saw a couple of years ago and what we will see again in 2024. So where is this eclipse going to move? Well, this will be moving from the West Coast down through the Texas uh, Gulf Coast. So during in that area of black, that's where we will see the actual eclipse and we'll get towards this uh, maximum eclipse where we will see this ring of fire effect there through Central Texas, through the deserts, Utah, back up through uh, Nevada and Oregon and all the way down to the Gulf Coast of Texas. Now the eclipse will be visible everywhere else across North America, but because we are not in the direct path of the eclipse, what everyone else will experience is a partial solar eclipse. So we will see the moon block out some or in some cases most of the sun. So here's the timing for Mobile. The white area is the sun. Here comes the moon as we start moving. The eclipse begins at 1037 AM on Saturday. It'll reach its maximum eclipse at 1210. So this is going to occur, college football fans, during the Alabama game this weekend. And at this point, the maximum eclipse will occur in Mobile, where uh, the, mo the moon will block out about 74% of the sun. From there, we start to see the moon traverse, and then the eclipse will come to an end right around 1:47 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. So if you want to view this, you got to make sure you do it in a safe manner. The best thing to have is a special pair of eclipse glasses or something that has these solar lenses on it, these filters. So you don't want to look directly into a solar eclipse with your bare eyes or even with sunglasses. Sunglasses will not work for this. And even if you have those eclipse glasses, you do not want to look directly through a camera lens, telescope, binoculars or any other uh, viewing or optical device while wearing those glasses. Make sure you always check them out to make sure there are no tears in the glasses before you use them. And by the way, make sure you check out the bottom of this uh, story on WKRG.com and you'll see the select eclipse eclipse start and end times and the eclipse maximum times for select cities across Northwest Florida, Lower Alabama and Mississippi.